You guys have been asking for some more Warhorse content. Well, ask and you shall receive. Today's your lucky day. We're doing some wings and we're doing them a little different. They're going to be absolutely delicious. Let's get into it. What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake. You're watching Rum and Cook. Today on the channel, we're breaking out the Workhorse Pits 1975. Going to do a little bit of offset cooking. However, we're actually going to use the Cowboy Grill. Recently, someone left a little comment. They'd like to see some open fire cooking on the Workhorse. Now, for every video that I, I make, I pin, what do you want to see me cook next? And I do read those and I kind of chalk them up for future videos. If one of them really interests me, then I usually jump it ahead of the rest, uh, but I am paying attention there. So if there's something you want to see me cook in one of my videos, whether it be on the pizza oven, the Yoder, Komodo Joe, the offset, whatever, let me know and I'll try and put together a video for you. But as you know, if you've been around for a little while, that I am a chicken wing fanatic and I've been on the quest to make some perfect wings on the workhorse and I've gotten some good results, but I have not gotten the perfect results. I have finally nailed it on the Yoder. I'll put that video up here because I don't think I'm going to be able to make a better wing in it. Not that I'm going to give up trying, but the last ones I made were pretty friggin' phenomenal. So we got to make some on the Komodo Joe. I've got the Joe Chisserie coming from that. We're going to try out some recipes there. But before we can do that, we got to get this guy fired up. And the trick here is that we're going to build a really, really big fire because I'm going to cook it over here, but we're going to cook over just the wood embers. Let's get this guy fired up. So it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. Our fire's getting really close. Again, the goal here is to build up a big coal bed. We don't want a lot of flames. We just want the heat. I'm gonna to continue to add some smaller pieces so they keep breaking down quicker. But what I wanna do is I wanna get these guys seasoned up and we'll throw them in on the other side so they get a little bit of smoke, but we're not gonna do that for very long. We just want a little bit of smoke flavor. They're gonna get some wood flavor directly over that coal bed. So we're just gonna kind of blend some flavors here a little bit. But I've just got some green circle wings. These are my favorite wings from D'Artagan Foods. They are a little bit higher quality wing, larger wing, and they are delicious and juicy. So what I'm gonna do here is we are going to just open these guys up, all right? The one thing about these guys is they will have feathers from time to time, just pick those off. But I'm gonna leave these guys as a whole wing and we're gonna throw them in the bowl and we'll mix them up. Growing up, <laughs> I always did a whole wing with the family. We rarely cut them up. I mean, you go out to uh, get some wings and of course you end up with some party wings that are already cut up. But just in general, my dad always cooked them as full wings. I haven't done them that way for a long time. So I thought we'd change it up a little bit. And again, on some of these, you're gonna see some feathers. Pull those guys right out. So I went through the wings real quick and just cleaned up some feathers, just to give you an idea. Uh, they happen to be usually on the tip that you cut off anyhow, uh, but I just go through and clean them up. If you, the feathers weird you out, you can get their organic wings and they don't have that at all. Um, and there's not a ton. Every batch is a little different, but sometimes there are some feathers uh, in the tips that you usually cut off. But since I'm keeping them whole, I wanted to clean them all out. Let's grind some pepper here. And we're gonna go pretty basic, but I'm gonna use some pepper, a little bit of diamond kosher salt, and more importantly, some seasoned salt. Seasoned salt and chicken is delicious. Give these guys a mix up real quick. That's it, pretty, pretty simple. No dry brining, no drying them off, no prep. So now these guys are all mixed up, we're gonna throw them on a wire rack just to keep our meat clean. No one likes dirty meat. Put them on this and we'll give them a little bit of a smoke. And we're trying to make sure that we've got a little bit gap around everything. We will get some smoky goodness over the whole thing. 
So our wings are gonna go on for about 30 minutes in the smoke. I just put a larger split on there. It's just catching up to fire, so there's a little bit of extra smoke while that starts up. You can see we are definitely running a little bit of a heavier smoke than normal, but because we're only doing 30 minutes, I wanna get some smoke flavor in them, and then that'll give that log a chance to break down the coals and we'll move them over to the firebox. So it's been exactly 30 minutes. We've been cooking around 225. Let's have a look at our temp real quick. You can see we're sitting right around 116-ish, 128, somewhere in there. We've got a fair amount of time to go, but what I'm gonna do, just bring those out real quick. Actually, I'm gonna throw them over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these sit out for about 10 minutes or so. I lost a little bit of my coal bed while they were cooking. As you can see in here, I've added some small, like inch and a quarter diameter, basically tinder to try and help reestablish my coal bed a little bit. So we're gonna let that burn for about 10 minutes. I don't wanna be cooking over fire, I wanna be cooking over some wood coals. So we're gonna break those down and then we'll throw these over top of the coals and finish them up. Now you can see our coals are broken down. Got a nice little cool bed there. We will put our grates in here. And what I've done here is I left my grates out. We don't need them to get hot. I don't want them to be heating these guys up. Whoop. I want all the coals to do all the work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these guys face down. That way they've all got direct access to our coals. We're gonna open up our door to allow, maybe not that much, allow some air to come in here, stoke these coals, and we'll see what happens in a few minutes. It's been 10 minutes, let's have a look. You can hear some sizzling. Don't think our coal bed is quite big enough for what I'm looking to achieve. I mean, that one's getting some nice color on it. Same with that one, right in the middle. And on the outside, we're getting some color. Color happening. So there's some that have got some good color, some are a little bit behind. I try and rake the coal bed closer so it was more centered. The grate is a fair ways away from the coal bed. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give this five minutes here and then I might throw some little kindling in there so we get a little bit of fire. I'm really trying to mostly use the coals in there. So we'll give it another five, six minutes, and decide what the next steps are. Been another five minutes. Let's see how we're making out. Now, interestingly enough, I turned off the camera and I'm like, let me check our temps. They were 165. But the one thing I noticed right away is that the skin was super, super crispy. Even though I wasn't getting the color that I was looking for, the skin was right where I wanted it. And because I only smoked for 30 minutes, it was a little rubbery. So I was like, ooh, I hope I didn't mess this up. But it actually is working out pretty good. It's at around 185 right now, 186, depending on where we hit it. Ooh, they're juicy. Let's see where we got up here. 183, 184, 185. So they're in really good shape. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna flip them over, put some sauce on them. We're just starting to get some of that magic happen where some of the fat's rendering out and dripping on our coals. I think what I would do next time is I would actually start this process just a little sooner or maybe do them all over the cool bed. But until you try, you don't know how it's gonna work out. So we'll get a little sauce on here. And this is just a Canadian sauce I brought back. I was just back a couple weeks ago, it's just called ribs and chicken, and I do like it on some wings. It's kind of sweet, kind of smoky, and it's a nice little finisher rather than your traditional buffalo style wing. It's got a little paint. Tell you what, smells delicious. We're gonna give us about three minutes to tack that up and then we'll flip them over and we'll do the other side. Let's get these wings off. And what I did is I stirred just a little bit of a fire just to tack up 
the skin here. We're tack up that barbecue sauce, sorry. I just moved the wings away from the fire so they just got some residual heat around the outside. Absolutely delicious. They're looking delicious. They're a little too hot to try. While we're waiting for them to cool down, let's look at our contest winner from last week. We're talking about the fajita video. This video did not do as well as I expected. I mean, if you guys like some fajitas, that is the video to check out. I mean, those things are friggin' delicious. Anyhow, the hashtags were fajitas and hashtag Kettleman's Grill. And let's get some YouTube comments. There's only 24 comments in that video, which actually isn't too bad considering how that video did. And that's it. Let's hit start. Matt H. Looks delicious. We'll give this a shot. Fajitas. Hashtag fajitas. Hashtag Kettleman's Grill. Again, if you like fajitas at all, beef or chicken, go check out those two marinades I talked about and the seasonings. I've been using them for a couple years. Absolutely delicious and I love them. Mr. Matt, you will win a $25 gift card to atbbq.com. I will go find your comment. I will ask you to email me. Once you email me, I'll get you to make another comment to prove it's you and then we'll get you that gift card out. Let's get back to the video. So if you're new here, you're probably wondering how you got entered into that contest that you just saw. Super simple, only a couple things. You just have to be subscribed to the channel, you've got to like the video, and you've got to comment with specific hashtags. So every Tuesday, I will do a contest on the previous Tuesday's video. We're rolling out Thursday videos here very shortly. And so Thursday to Thursday, Tuesday to Tuesday. So for this video, all you got to do is comment with the hashtag Dartagon Foods and hashtag workhorse. Then what I do is everyone who comments there, I pick a random comment from there and you will win a $25 gift card to at bbq.com. Now, if you're a Patreon member, even at the $5 level, $5 a month, that's it. You can join the Patreon, be a supporter of the channel and I'll double it. So you get 50 bucks. So again, Tuesday to Tuesday, Thursday to Thursday. So you have a week to comment for the initial contest entry. You'll see I record them on that Monday night or the Wednesday night right before I post that video live. So you get an entire week to comment. Good luck. And let's look at these wings. I mean, they're looking delicious. They turned out better than I thought. I was a little nervous for uh, a few minutes there, uh, but I think once we got them over the fire and just adding a couple splits there right at the end, just some kindling to really get a little bit more heat onto it. You can see they're nice and tacky. They've got a beautiful color on them. I'm thinking that they're gonna be tasty. Oh yeah. Mm. Let me make sure the flat tastes just as good. <laughs> I am pleasantly surprised. When I was doing these, like for the, after that 30 minutes, I went to temp these out and the skin was really, really rubbery. And I was like, oh, hopefully we can save that. Luckily, putting them over the coals there, really crisped them up in a hurry. Took about 10 minutes, and then we did about six minutes on the other side, put some sauce on them, and then I flipped them maybe about every three minutes just to get the sauce nice and tacked up on either side. Now, I did add a couple of pieces of kindling right near the end because my coals, my coal bed was dying out, and I wanted to make sure I got the sauce tacked up on the top. Next time I do this, I think what I might do is I might try and do the whole thing over the coal bed because in that 30 minutes, I lost, I lost a lot more of the coal bed than I was expecting. But flavor wise, these are phenomenal. We've got a ton of smoke in them. They're really, really juicy. And you've got a little bit of that wood goodness that I'm, I'm, I was looking to create in this. I think I can get some more of it. So I'm definitely gonna try this again and we'll just try it over the, the firebox the entire time and just see how it goes. I was originally worried that I might cook them too quick, but there's such a distance there between the grate and the coals that it doesn't get too hot too quick. So I will be trying these again because right now, these are the best wings I've made on my offset so far. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet and you'd like to see some backyard barbecue, do me a favor, hit that subscribe, help the channel grow. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate the support. I'll see you soon.